to show you how to configure global protect on the Palo Alto and we will be using today local authentication that is we will be configuring username and password on the device itself and we will try to authenticate with that username and password in this case we have Palo Alto firewall and and its ethernet 1 slash 1 will be the trust interface that will be connected to the internet and I will have an PC to connect to the VPN with the IP 109.80 and I will have one loop back address in the trust zone and that will act as, act, uh, as our internet, internal network and we will uh, pass this subnet through the tunnel so let's start the configuration this is our firewall so first go to the device certificate generate certificate common name I will assign the IP address of the external interface I will add some attribute click on generate ok the certificate is now generated I will trust the certificate click on ok next step I will be configuring SSL TLS profile so name it at SSL TLS from the drop down I will select the certificate I have generated click on ok next I will go to the interface and I will create a new one look back address I will assign an IP I will add here management profile ping profile to check the connectivity ok I will assign here loop back address one click on ok also I will put this loop back address in the inside zone so virtual router I will select default I will create a zone trust that is trust click on ok and ethernet 1 slash 1 I have already assigned IP 119.109 and I have ping profile there so next is, is I will assign one zone called global protect zone that is GP I will select here L3 I will enable uh, device sorry I will enable user identification and click on OK I will configure one loop tunnel interface so there is one tunnel interface and I will assign that GP zone to that tunnel interface next step I will configure the portal so go to the sorry now I, I will create a username for the global product VPN con, uh, user so I will test user will be the name I will assign one password click on ok now I will uh, configure one authentication profile I will name it as a auth, auth profile type will be local database as we will retrieve the user from the local database on the advanced tab click on all click on ok now I will go to the network tab and I will configure the portal now so I will name it as a GP portal I will select the external interface that is the Ethernet 1 slash 1 
from the trap drop down i will select the ip i will then go to authentication i will um, select the sslts profile that i have created i will configure client authentication authentication profile that i have um, just created click on ok go to the agent i will uh, add the certificate that i have created and i will click on uh, install in local root certificate store i will configure uh, agent configuration on the external i will add the external ip so external gateway ip so ext gw 192.168.19.109 is my external gateway source region i will assign any for now and priority will be high for now click on ok next step i will i will be configuring gateway so i will i name at gp global protect gateway interface again i will select the external interface and i will select the ip from the drop down i will go to the authentication and i will select the ssl tls profile that i have created and i will configure client authentication authentication profile i have created a profile click on ok next is i will select the agent from the tunnel interface i will select the tunnel one that i have just created i will assign the number of user for now I can assign 10. Next is client config. I will go to the IP pool and I will assign the IP pool that the user get when they are connected to the global project VPN on the virtual adapter. So I will assign this set. 10.0.0.12 I'll go to the split tunnel and I will uh, now I can select the list of IP that should pass through the global project tunnel. So I have assigned the loop back address only. So 129.0.1 slash 32 is my only internal host that I have in my uh, trust network or internal network. So I have selected this. If we have multiple subnet in our inside network, we can select the multiple subnet. Click on OK now commit the configuration once the commit is completed now once the commit is completed we can also we need to create a security policy to allow the user from the outside user interface to uh, connect to our internal network so i will uh, name this policy as a gp policy and the, the user will be from GP zone to our source address can be any and user will be a test user destination will be my trust zone and I have IP in my trust zone 192.168.129.1 slash 32 I will, application will be any port to I will allow any I will uh, in the action section I will uh, allow the traffic so source address any okay one more thing go to the network interface uh, I will uh, assign this ethernet one slash one in the untrust zone that is our external zone so i will create a zone untrust click on ok 
click on ok now i will commit the configuration so once the uh, com commit is completed i will try to uh, access the portal on the ip 192.168.119.109 that is our external interface and i will try to download the client and i will then will connect to the global protect vpn okay so now the commit is successful now i will go to the portal browser and 119.109 okay so i am able to access to the portal and I, now i will uh, uh, try to log in with the user uh, username and password that i have created on the firewall itself so now i, I can download the required client so in my case I have already uh, downloaded the client so I will install that click on next next now I will assign the portal address that is our on trust interface IP address Okay, I will assign the username and password. Now the VPN is connected. Now let's try to ping the loopback address that is is on the trust zone. So in yeah, so we are able to ping. This is the configuration. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching the video.